Thank you for allowing North Oaks Medical Center to take care of your health care needs. We understand as your health care team, an important part of our job is to educate you so you can be prepared going into surgery. Please watch this video before your surgery and follow these instructions to keep you safe and healthy. These steps will reduce your chances for infection and enhance your recovery for your body to heal faster. If you have a cold or the flu, your risk of having pneumonia after surgery will be greater. Please call your surgeon if you have fever, feel ill, or if you believe you might be coming down with the flu or a cold. In your pre-surgery appointment, you are given a packet that contains special wipes to reduce bacteria on your skin. Although these bacteria are normally good for your skin, they can cause infection after your surgery. These wipes contain chlorhexidine gluconate, CHG. They also include a skin softener. CHG kills most bacteria on contact and continues to reduce bacteria on your skin for hours. First, on the night before surgery, wash your hair in the shower before washing your body with antibacterial soap, Dial Soap. This removes the regular day's dirt. If you have a job where you get very dirty, pay special attention to the areas of your body that are dirty. Use a washcloth and concentrate on areas where there's skin-to-skin -skin contact, like skin folds, armpits, and belly buttons. Do not shave 24 hours prior to surgery. Make sure you completely rinse the shampoo and antibacterial soap from your hair and body. After the shower, dry off with a fresh, clean towel. Don't use any lotions, creams, deodorants, oils, or powders on your skin. Make sure the clothing you put on is clean. Allow your skin to cool and for your skin pores to go back to their normal condition before the next step. The next steps are very important to follow as closely as possible. Take your time. Wait at least an hour after your shower before applying the CHG wipes to your skin. Apply the wipes with light friction to clean cool, dry skin. Do not scrub your skin. Do not apply CHG wipes on your face. Use only below your jawline. If you have a rash or wounds, don't use them on these areas. When used on sensitive skin, mild skin irritation may occur. If you have severe redness after the first application, rinse the area and stop using the rest of the wipes. If you can't continue the full application, let your nurse at the hospital know before your surgery. Don't rush when applying the CHG wipes and ask for help to apply to areas such as your back, which you may not be able to reach without help. Allow your skin to dry after each packet of wipes. Your skin will feel sticky, but don't wipe. Allow your skin to air dry. If you have skin folds with skin-to-skin -skin contact, hold them out and let these areas dry. Open the first packet by pulling the seam line on the back of the packet. Open one packet and take out two wipes. The first wipe is used on your neck, shoulders, and chest. Throw the used cloth in a wastebasket. The second cloth is for both your arms and hands. Cover all areas. Don't forget under your arms. Toss the used cloth in a wastebasket. Allow time for your arms and chest to dry. Take your time. Open the second packet and take out the wipes. The third wipe is for your abdomen and groin areas. Don't use the wipe on the mucous membrane of your genitals, your private parts, vagina, penis, or rectum. Pay attention to your belly button area. Throw the cloth away and allow these areas to dry. The fourth cloth is for your right foot and leg. It's okay to sit or prop your foot. It's important to get all areas of your skin. 
Don't forget to clean between your toes, your heel, and the bottom of your foot. Toss the cloth in a wastebasket. Open the third packet. The fifth cloth is for your left foot and leg. Repeat the steps you did for your other foot and leg. Take the last cloth and clean your neck, back, and your buttocks last. Most people need help to do the last areas of their skin. This may seem like a lot of steps to follow, but it is very important for you to follow all of these instructions to keep you safe and help to prepare your skin to lower your risk of developing an infection after your surgery. After you have completed wiping down your body and your skin is dry, get into clean pajamas and sleep in a bed with clean sheets. Do not sleep with pets in your bed the night before surgery or after surgery while your surgery site is still healing. Do not shower in the morning because we want the CHG to stay on your skin. It continues to work to reduce the bacteria on your skin for 12 hours. When you get to the hospital, we will do the CHG wipe down again. You may also get nasal swabs to clean the inside of your nose. Be sure to let the hospital nurse know if you didn't cover all areas of your skin with the Skin Prep CHG wipes. While you are in the hospital, remind your visitors and our staff to use hand sanitizer when entering your room and before they touch you. Please ask anyone that you do not see clean their hands to do so before touching or caring for your surgery wound. If you have lines or drains, don't touch the dressing of your surgical wound unless you've been instructed on the proper care of the wound. Don't let anyone that is sick with a cold or the flu come to visit you. Do not eat or drink unless your doctor says that it's okay. Do not drink alcohol or smoke for at least 24 hours prior to surgery. Take medications as instructed by your doctor and the pre-admit nurse. After your surgery, be sure to continue to shower daily with antibacterial soap. Do not use any lotions, creams, deodorants, oils, or powders on your skin. Remember to apply the CHG wipes to cool dry skin after you shower for at least five days after your surgery. Remember, it is important to follow all these instructions given to you for your surgery. Make the commitment today to prepare your body for surgery to ensure your recovery period after surgery will be faster and you will feel better sooner.